During the span of his career, Shane Bond was in and out of the New Zealand team a lot, but there was one constant during his career, and that was that he would always destroy Australia. Here we can see Shane Bond's overall ODI record, 147 wickets at just below an average of 21, but if you look at the specific opposition, versus Australia at 44 wickets at an average of below 16. And you have to remember that this was no average Australia. This was an Australia that won uh, two World Cups during Shane Bond's career span. And he took 44 out of his 147 wickets, so that's about a third of his wickets against uh, this world-class opposition and at a crazy uh, average. So um, to sort of see that in action, we're going to watch some of Shane Bond's best bowling highlights against Australia. The first highlight we're going to watch is actually from Shane Bond's debut ODI series. It was a tri-series between Australia, South Africa, and New Zealand, and in this match he takes 5 for 25. You can see wide delivery uh, sort of tempts. I think it's ponting? I think it's ponting. So you can see it's sort of a odd ball because it's shaped like an in-swinger, but it actually went away as um, a lot of you may know Shane Bond was prominently an in-swing bowler, but over here sort of went the other way for some reason. Again, sort of similar kind of ball and actually a really good field placement from New Zealand. Similar kind of ball. He nailed that to be honest, but good catch. Here's the beauty to Gilchrist, 148 kilometers per hour, right at his feet. That's the kind of ball you bowl in Cricket 2007 to get the wicket every ball. Look at that, absolute beauty. How do you play that at 150 clicks? Sort of gift of a wicket here, late in the match. Straight up in the air. And he finishes the match with a great Yorker and New Zealand win. He also took four for in the next match, but sadly I wasn't able to find any highlights of those. Here you can just see a replay in the end. Next up is his performance against Australia in the 2003 World Cup. A lot of Pacers were on fire in the 2003 World Cup, and Shane Bond was probably one of the best of them. Look at that. Look at the speeds here. 145. He's just warming up, though. Just beat him for pace there, sheer pace, 147 kilometers per hour. Bit of a bad decision though because it's pitched outside leg, but it's okay, we don't care. Again, that's just pace, I don't know, uh, I think that was ponting. Probably a bit of a bad shot, but just fast bounce on these South African wickets. Eighteen wickets in six matches against Australia. Damien Martin again. Similar ball, although this one was actually really good because it did seem away. Again, really quick, 146 kilometers per hour. Only 146 Ks? <laughs> Who's the commentator? <laughs> oh, fast Yorker right on the toe. 149 kilometers per hour. Not exactly sure who the batsman was again, but. He stood no chance there. It's full right on the toe. That must have been painful. He's probably the best of them all. He just squared him up, turned him around. 148 kilometers per hour. You can see. Seems to angle, be angling down leg. Seems away. Takes the middle stump. Beautiful. Middle peg out the ground. Our next highlight is actually from January of 2007. In this match, Shane Bond's Bond, sorry, takes four wickets and actually gets a hat-trick. The footage isn't that good, but it's a hat-trick, so I had to include it. Low full toss. It is the last over, so sometimes hat-tricks like these are a bit uh, not as good, I guess, but still, still a hat-trick. Nick behind Andrew Simons. And on a hat-trick, slower ball. I love the commentary. Forget exactly who the commentator is. I know it's either uh, Tony Gregg or Bill Laurie, but I'm not sure which one. <laughs> now from February of 2007, it's another ODI series. The hat trick you just saw, that was in Australia. Now there's a different ODI series that happens in New Zealand. But again, the constant is Shane Bond is among the wickets. 
<laughs> Honestly, not a good ball. <laughs> not particularly quick either, but I guess sometimes you get some bonuses. That one is a good ball though. 143 kilometers, seeming in a mile from outside off. Look at that beauty. Takes the off stump out the ground, I think. Perfect in swinging. Not out the ground, but pecked back. Oh, <laughs> what a beauty to start there too. Back of a length, seeming inwards. And that's a great catch. Slower ball. Look at that, chipped up. Well, not particularly high, but great one-handed catch. <laughs> Love the celebration too. And another slower ball. And a bit of an odd shot, but he completes yeah another five wicket haul against Australia. And that brings us to 2010 during his final ODI series of his career. Again, it may be his final series, but he's still gonna wreck Australia. Nine wickets in a five match series. Here we go. Just on a, a golden run at the moment. Beautiful ball. Seeming away, 143 kilometers. Even when he was in his last series, he was still really quick. And look at that. Seems away. Just takes the outside edge of the off stump. Perfect Yorker. Quick again, still, even at the end of his career. <laughs> Bad shot again, but just... Pace does that sometimes, you know? When you can bowl that quick, you get some bonus wickets and it looks odd, but you've still earned them. <laughs> Look at that. Pace has Brad Haddon having no footwork. Honestly, an embarrassing shot, but it's just too quick. If this video isn't too long, I may include a video of the full over of this because it was a beautiful over. And here is his final ODI match and he takes a four wicket haul in it. Incredibly quick bouncer to Ponting. He's gonna give it out. Seems like the umpire got a bit under pressure because Ponting hasn't gotten near that. Not with the bat or the gloves at least. Here, look at this. Uh, right off the helmet. <laughs> but it's okay. Again, we don't care. And here is his final wicket. So those are some of Shane Bond's best highlights against Australia. Again, just to recap, 44 wickets against them and an average of 15.79. That's an outrageous record against, well, really any top team. But you have to remember that even among the top teams, this was Australia with three consecutive World Cups in a row for most of the time that Shane Bond was playing. So just a remarkable feat. And yeah, it's sad overall that he wasn't able to play a lot more. He's one of my favorite bowlers to watch and sadly you can't find that much footage of him uh, online because he didn't play that much and a lot of it isn't documented either. But anyways, that was it for the video. I hope you guys found it enjoyable. If you did, leave a like and consider, sub <laughs> Sorry. And consider subscribing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.